Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the Bloomfield Art Studio. This is the first episode of probably three. I've got a great portrait in that requires quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of work. So uh, welcome along, hope you enjoy what you see and uh, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here's the portrait. It's about 80 by 90 centimetres. It's of Harriet Nichols. There's quite a few impacts. You can see a large impact there, another one here. And then we've got this large horizontal tear that kind of goes down. There's a really large vertical tear that's about six inches long there. And this L-shaped one comes all the way down and then goes along. Um, we've got a puncture hole here. Various bits of splashes of paint on there. It's very dirty. It's been stored in some kind of cellar maybe. So here you can see the tacking edge is deteriorated quite badly. Um, all these tacks have kind of rusted. The canvas is coming away from there. Very poor on that on that bottom edge there, must have been stored in the damp somewhere. This is the signature on the back, or writing on the back. I can find an RR rain eagle and a Philip rain eagle, but not an RG, so I might need to look into that a little bit further. Um, stretch bars look good. Stretch is in quite good condition. I also need to look at this parcel tape on the back. It's been put there to keep that tear from moving further. It's done its it served its purpose, but I do need to remove that. It's uh, covering some of the tears. What I might need to do is face that from the front so that when I do remove that tape, it doesn't make that tear any worse. So yeah, loads to do. Let's get going. So uh, the stretch is off now, I can kind of try and start to flatten some of these areas down. Under the years of dust and dirt and rubbish behind here, so we'll give this a bit of a clean up. Always some uh, Christmas tree pine needles, without a fail, yeah. And there's a couple there, they get everywhere, don't they? Um, anyway, so that's going to get clean, and I'll look at taking this tape off from the back, and we'll flip it back over, put some facings on those tears there to make sure they don't go anywhere and uh, get it ready for the next stage. Okay, let's go.
It can be a horrible, dirty job. Not my favourite part of this, but um, needs to be done. I'm going to clean this whole back up now. Get it ready for the next stage. So I've cleaned the rest of that off now. Brushed it all down. Got rid of some like, dirt, and yeah, I'm going to start preparing it for the next bit, which is going to be uh, lining the fabric. So face it off. Face it off. Okay. Bye. Okay, so I'm just making some wheat starch paste at the moment. I've got this neutral P pure wheat starch, neutral pH pure wheat starch, which is just like a powder. And I've added one teaspoon of starch and five teaspoons of water. That's gone in there. I mix it up and then you can microwave it a few times. So I've microwaved this for 20 seconds. I've done it three times and mix it up and it's kind of got this kind of gloopy texture. I don't know if it's smooth enough yet. So I'm going to let it cool down and then dilute it so I can add my um, facings. As you can see now, all the facing tissue has dried and that's going to keep the tears nice and secure. So I'll be able to turn this over now and start looking at the um, back of the canvas.
she's been de-stretched, relaxed, faced, turned upside down, and now she's been flattened. So I'm gonna leave her there. I might put some more weights on um, for a few hours, but it's uh, five o'clock now. It's Friday, it's time to go. So uh, I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, hit subscribe, like, thumbs up, get in touch, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, what you wanna see more of. And uh, yeah, catch you soon. Have a nice weekend. Okay, cheers guys, thank you. Um, which camera am I looking at? Where's the camera? Where? Uh, uh, uh.